with a Mr. Nightmare video. I, you guys don't even know how much I love Mr. Nightmare, and I really wanted to watch a video of his. I saw one of his come up in my videos that I have to react to. I still have so much more just to download, Jesus. But I, I honestly don't think I've downloaded videos since like last year, so I have a lot to download for sure. It'll probably, probably take me a good few hours to, to download everything. Um, but for now, I gotta worry about what I have now to still react to, which is all these. So, this is called Four True Scary Stories with Footage. So, nothing specific, just scary stories, like always, just with footage, which obviously footage makes it a lot more real and intense. So, footage should definitely make it better. So, it's almost 12 minutes long. So, with all, all that being said, let's get into this video and let's see the scary footage, because, oh god. So, they're all, they all have names and none are, none are anonymous. I feel like the anonymous ones are real, but then like, if I should give a name, then I feel I like it's... I Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It was a Tuesday night. I was laying on my bed trying to get some sleep. I laid there for about three hours until I decided to get up and take a walk around my neighborhood just to clear my head. What time was it? It was two in the morning. I was walking down the street when I remembered there was an abandoned building in our neighborhood. Oh, God. Don't tell me. I decided me. to visit it. People say that this building is haunted, and I've always wanted to see what's inside of it. Great idea. The building idea. itself looked really creepy. Broken windows, a huge metal door which said no entry with red paint. As an 18-year-old college student, I wanted to be adventurous. I Fair climbed enough. through one of the broken windows and got inside the building. Just don't die. I took out my phone and started to record so I could show off in front of my friends. Just to let I you guys know, my too, phone so. works completely fine. There's no problem with it. The place was really dark. The only source of light in that building was from my phone. It took me a couple of seconds to realize I was inside a small room. I walked out the door into the hallway. It was an apartment. I was doing commentary while recording to make it look cool. I got out of the apartment and into the main hall of the building. Here's a picture of the main hall. On the left side of the elevator, there's a small passageway which leads to a really small room under the stairs, as seen in this picture. I went there to investigate. When I got close to the room, I heard a clicking noise from the first door. Oh, here we go. I was frozen for a split second. I walked back to the main hall, still recording. Then I heard a loud sound of metal dropping on concrete. I almost crapped my pants. I wanted to get the hell out of there, but something inside me told me to go upstairs and find out what it was. I started walking up the stairs as slowly as I could. I don't even know what I was expecting to see up there. I got to the first curious, floor. Right? As usual, it was dark, but it got colder. This event took place in the middle of August, so it was hot outside. I'm into paranormal stuff, and when I suddenly felt cold, I firmly believed something was going on here. I should have turned back, but I still wanted to see where that sound came from. There were four apartments on each floor. I investigated all four of them and saw nothing. A chill ran down my spine when I realized the whole second floor and the ground floor were covered in sand. There was no concrete and the no fuck? sign of anything metal. The cold temperature on the floor and the fact that I was alone gave me the chills. I hurried down the stairs, made my way back to the apartment, climbed out through the window and ran back to my home. When I got home, I drank gallons of water, calmed myself down and took out my phone. I wanted to hear that sound again, so I played the video. And to my horror, the audio on the video was messed up. My commentary wasn't there at all. Like I said earlier, there's no problem with my phone. It works fine. I didn't get any sleep that night. I told my friends about it, and they told me that it was really stupid to go inside that building alone. I didn't delete the video. I decided to keep it as a memory. Fast forward to December. I was going through my gallery, and I came across that video. I decided to play it. I fast forwarded to the part where I heard the sound, and surprisingly, that sound is clearly heard in the video. I don't know how it could be heard clearly, but here's a small clip from the video. I got goosebumps and closed my phone. I promised myself not to go near that building ever again. Good call. Let me start out by saying I was a non-believer of the paranormal until this night. I was with four buddies. I won't list any names for safety reasons. We went to hang out and talk in an old, supposedly haunted trailer late at night. 
The owner and multiple people who live there all told me that it was haunted by demons. That's when you're actually going to your fuck. To the group, so that's I needed so to be initiated. Too, seriously? This initiation that's consisted of walking into the haunted back room. I did as they said after they convinced me, and walked in and then quickly ran out. My friends thought it was hilarious and went to prove to me that it was all not real. I went behind them to record them and see if we could get any proof of the demon. My friend went to open the closet, and that's when I got spooked by a loud audible crash in the closet and ran away. My friend thought it was hilarious, and after more convincing, dragged me back inside the house to record him. Mm. My buddy and I got outside of the trailer to rewatch our footage, and what we caught scared me beyond belief. Dude, I just heard shit in the closet. Yeah. Yo. Yo, bro. Oh, fuck. Hey. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> Is it your friend or something trying to... No, I thought it's your friend oh. or something. Fuck. Oh, I thought it must be a friend or something. Chase, Come Chase, on. Chase, look at this. Dude, I saw it. Get the hell out of there, dude! The closet opening and closing, loud knocking and windows being tapped on, all the while I captured orbs outside of the room. While I was outside waiting for my friend to come back out, I heard the trash cans rattle and immediately called my friends out. We didn't see them move, but a little later on we had things thrown at us from an unknown place. I had a live bullet tossed into my leg, and what? one more land inches away from my buddy's leg. What? I have it on video! You were making that shit. Wait, if you're there, then who's throwing shit? Huh? I just came back from smoking with Roy. Yeah. Oh, they just passed by, I took a hit, and they kept walking. We have actual fucking proof of that ghost. Eventually, we went to get out after I practically dragged my friend into the car, only to have our car alarm go off as we opened the car door. When we got home, my buddy showered and said his back hurt. And when I checked, I saw he had multiple scratches up and down his back. As you can see in this image. What? Yo, that is so sus. That is so creepy. I'm done. I quit. I'm over this. This is insane. It was a normal evening. My best friend and I decided to go for a walk. It was around 10 o'clock in the evening, so it was as dark out as it was gonna get. Uh -huh. I live in a small village, so we usually just walk around the streets. There weren't many people out at this hour. We were kind of just walking and talking. A little while into our walk, we started to head home. We went up some hill, which led to the little town area and the only store we had in our village. But as soon as we came up the hill, we saw a weird looking figure in the distance. It looked like an abnormally tall woman covered in a sheet of some sort, and it had its neck tied with a string or a rope. Oh my god. This is the video we took of the figure. What? What is that? Wait, is that the girl right there? Honestly, it reminded us walking. of the movie The Nun. It was really hard to see since it was totally dark and the street lights weren't exactly the brightest. It was moving very slowly and it was waddling left and right like it was drunk or injured or something. Go over to and film we it. Couldn't figure out if it was walking our way or not. Because it was moving so slowly. Like the nun, right? We're not it was a really top. disturbing sight at that moment. But she just that hour of the night. So she's walking. I don't see what. After half a minute of standing there, we realized it was walking towards us. We ran as fast as we could when we realized it didn't even have a visible face or just anything to take note of specifically. But... We walked around to go home, hoping we wouldn't see her again. But we thought we would, because if we calculated it right, we would meet again on one intersecting street. But luckily we didn't. The next day, I told my friend about what happened, and she told me she also saw her, or it, while she was driving with her sister past the bar, which is on the street we thought we would see her again. That's really creepy. She moved slower than us, and I really don't know how we missed her, but luckily we did. My friend described the figure just as horrifically as it appeared from the distance to us that night, and since that night, we never saw her again. Definitely peculiar. No face? How did, how, how's that even possible? This just happened a couple days ago. This isn't something that happened to me, but rather something that happened to a family friend. Okay. 
Our family friend, who I'll call Buddy for the sake of this video, Buddy? believes that something has attached itself to him. Something paranormal. It started when he moved into a new house. Almost right away, Buddy and his family started experiencing paranormal activity. That's when you dipped such the as shadows and voices. That's already when you dip, I dipped the night, Buddy had found a weird down. discovery in the basement of his new home. <laughs> Upon doing some moving in the basement, he found something that he had not seen prior to the move-in. He found a stolen cemetery reef. That's... This made partial sense because the town cemetery was in walking distance of the house. Buddy was aggravated with the activity going on in his new home. So out of anger, he snapped the cemetery reef, and in his own words, when I snapped the reef, every dog in that town started howling. There must have been 20 dogs all howling at the same time. I was scared to death. What? After that, the activity worsened, and they had no choice but to move. But it seemed the activity followed them to every house they went to. Recently, they've had some of the worst experiences in this apartment they currently live in. Buddy and his wife, who I'll call Pam, have been repeatedly followed by some kind of entity. They decided to set up a phone recording for the night and try to capture anything that might seem paranormal as evidence that they weren't crazy. What Buddy found on the phone was horrifying. He woke up at 3 to review some footage and found a 5 second video that had been taken after the previous recording had stopped. Keep in mind, they have no pets, no children that live with them, no TV or radio was on at the time, and both Buddy and Pam were in bed when this happened. You can clearly see something pick up the phone and a female voice speak into it. I can assure you that is not Pam's voice or any other voice that they're familiar with. Everyone thinks it says, did you tell daddy to rape me? But you guys take a listen for yourself and come to your own conclusion. You tell daddy to rape me? Almost a night after this recording, one of Buddy and Pam's daughters died from an overdose. She was 30 years old and 7 months pregnant and a mother of 4, getting oh ready God. to be 5. Could this video have something to do with it? We don't know. But if it is a coincidence, then it sure is one hell of a scary one. Honestly, I'm not going to say any of these are fake or real because, like, I, with footage, anything could be rigged to, like, make it seem a certain way. Like, you know how... We have, like, everything now. We have, like, all this, like, you know, CGI and all this shit. You know, like, it can basically... It just makes you see things that are not really real. You know what I mean? So with all this technology, I feel like anything could really be made. Um, I don't know to be... Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's real or fake just because, like, obviously you did see it. Obviously that was creepy. But, like, for example, like, for the one knocking what their friend was on the other side of the door and then it's knocked back. Like, I feel like that's just an easy conclusion there. Again, I wasn't there to obviously know, but that's just what I'm going to assume. Again, I say don't assume, but in this case, I'm going to assume. <laughs> For the um, woman with no face, she probably had a face. You're probably just too far to see. Um, or she was old, or she just had a face covering or something, or just something covering her face to make it look more creepy. I don't know. Um, in terms of... The last one, the call, I feel like that was just one of the people talking, trying to make a fake video or something. And plus, who was the one recording? Like, it looked like the stand wasn't even... It looked like it was moving as if someone was actually... Because if it was, like, standing, it would be, like, standing still. Like, it would be placed on something that would be saying, like, we still... But it wouldn't move at all. It seemed like it was moving a little bit, so I feel like someone was recording that on purpose, and some, you know, just kind of... I, I don't know. I feel like it, it's all just kind of, like, made up, or... Like, I'm, I'm not going to say paranormal shit is not real, but I'm going to say... I don't know much, or I haven't experienced... Knock on wood, I haven't experienced anything that would really make me believe that. Like, I have a creepy doll in that room and it has not moved at all. I don't think it's moved. I'm pretty sure it's been in that same spot the whole time. If that, if that head moves to me, I'm gonna cry, but it has not moved yet. Okay. But yeah, there's a, basically a porcelain doll that I think my godmother or my sister's godmother gave to my sister. And it's been there for a while now. She just didn't take, take it with her, but... It's been there for years now. It's probably been there for like 20 years now. Um, but now you don't know. But I feel like paranormal shit definitely can exist, but I feel like a lot of it is just made up to get views, for example. Like, oh, look at this, a paranormal thing. My door moved. Okay, someone could easily tie an invisible piece of string to the door, pull, pull it open, there you go. It could look really believable because it's invisible string. Not literally invisible, but like it's so clear that you can't even see it. You know, you know what I mean? Anything like that. Like, or a chair moving, again, use some string. 
slow. Anything moving, you're att you're doing something to make it move. Like, please, come on. Like, I'm not, I'm not that dumb. Like, I feel like there's an explanation to everything. I thought there has to be an explanation to everything, so that's just my view on it. Let me know what you guys think, though. Everyone's different. Everyone thinks different things. So please let me know what you guys think, and let me know your opinions on all the, all this kind of stuff, or all this stuff that I've seen today. Sorry, I'm, these videos are going to be up, obviously, one video a day, but... I filmed five today so far, so all these, all these past five videos that were uploaded the past five days, these were all filmed back to back, so that's why I'm wearing the same the same clothes, by the way. So anybody that sees me wearing the same clothes, I'm not recording the same, I'm not recording one video on Monday, one video Tuesday, no, I'm recording like 10 on Monday so I can have enough for the rest of the week. That's how I do it. It's a lot easier. So that's going to be it for this video. Please be sure to subscribe. I'll, uh, that's it. <laughs> um... Again, no suggestions, please, just at the moment while I'm trying to catch up on everything and I'm going to do the suggestions I already have, especially in my suggestions folder already or my folder already that I have to download or react to, but that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.